Hello, and welcome back again to the sun at night. It's really late, and I'm really tired, so I'm gonna relax a bit more and probably not talk as as loudly, and the audio quality might be a bit worse off for it, but it's 4 a.m., so what can you do? Anyways, you might not have noticed, but over the course of this game, I've kind of started to not enjoy it all that much. I know it's a shocker, but it's true. It's the truth. So, I haven't been looking forward to recording this too, too much, but I came to a realization that has sort of rekindled my desire to play this game a little bit. I said before that I tried finding a walkthrough about the, the castle level and those quests that didn't make any sense, and I couldn't find one except for one video walkthrough, and I looked into it, and it turns out that video walkthrough is not even complete. It doesn't go past, like, 15 episodes or something, and walkthrough in very broad terms and air quotes, it's... I, I really hate when people brand things as walkthroughs when they're clearly not walkthroughs. For example, I almost branded my Unmechanical series as a walkthrough, but that would have been really stupid because I didn't remember everything and I didn't know everything. But if you look at something like my Volgar walkthrough, which by the way, I just published a Steam guide for, so check that out I suppose and write it up and all that stuff. I don't know, it's it's pretty fun. And uh, in Volgar I knew pretty much everything about that game, so I made it for the explicit purpose of helping others therefore it's a walkthrough, but there's so many people just branding things as walkthroughs for no real reason, but anyways, that's besides the point, I guess. Um, so the walkthrough just stopped, the video walkthrough, at the castle, or not even the castle, before the castle in the, uh, the army base level, which is like not even any time into the game at all. So that was kind of interesting, and then I looked around for Let's Plays as well, and there was like one guy doing a let's play for eight episodes or something like that and then gave up as well. So it's kind of interesting. If I actually complete this game and make this let's play whole and maybe do all the stuff that I can do, all the achievements and stuff, then I might be the only person in the world who's actually done that, done a let's play, done a playthrough of this entire game and have video to prove it basically which is kind of kind of an interesting thing of course it doesn't really matter especially since no one is even watching this there is no love for this game whatsoever no one cares at all it's such an indifference game it's not terrible but it's not good so it's just you don't you like look at it once and it's not interesting so you just look away and go play something else. It's so forgettable and so... so many things that are just slightly wrong about it, but I'm gonna persevere because now I'm a little bit more motivated to actually make this complete let's play, a world first let's play of a very mediocre game and then we'll see what happens after that. So sorry, I, I know I should probably... I should learn to do stuff while I'm talking about that but the problem is, I would do that if I was playing a game that I knew what I was doing in, but I don't even know what's going to be at the the other side of this door beyond what, what we saw last time, so I don't really want to run in guns blazing and try to talk, because that never works out. So, let's actually get into it, and let's see if I can do... No, damn it. If I can do some stuff today. And yeah, I'll probably try recording more than once. Oh man, this is convoluted already. There's so many things. Expect console. Nothing there. What is this? I don't even know. Can I stand on it? I cannot. This thing cannot stand on it. All right, so let's inspect this. So if I was... Ow, God, my fucking cracking limbs and joints all the time. It's especially my left side, I feel. Like my left elbow and my left shoulder just always cracks when... Whenever I... I don't know why I gesticulate when I make Let's Plays, but I do with my hands and stuff. You can't hear it, you can't see it, it doesn't affect you. I still do it. I don't know why. 
but, uh, what was I saying? If I was doing that entire intro while trying to run around, I would just have to pause here anyways, because I have to read this, so, I don't know. I guess I shouldn't really care, because it's it's this game we're talking about. A series of faint hisses grow loud, blah, louder and then cease as you investigate the console. A wireframe representation of the submarine shows a glowing red mark over the mini-sub that birth? Births? What the hell? Okay. The hissing intensifies again as the lock preventing mini-sub disembarkation. Is that a word? Disembarkation? Is that really the word? I guess it is. I've only ever heard the the word used in... Is it called the imperative form? Like, disembark, do it now, that, that kind of thing. Not... Or like disembarking. We're disembarking, but never disembarkation. That is very strange. It's disengage. What? Oh. No. What? Is this the Manta? Is that the Manta guy? Can I do something? Like, locked. Locked. Well, it's it's dead. Yeah, and I got an achievement. 20,000 leagues. I probably killed the, the Manta. That can't have been. I guess the thing they're talking about, the massive thing, is the Nano Whale. Which is probably the final boss or something. Yeah, defeat the Manta. I'm gonna just do this and just check that out again if I missed anything else or is that actually just it it's just you can't go through any of these actually yeah you can then what's what why what yeah it's telling me to go check that um I guess I'll check some other stuff out first kinda wanna do that should I should I even bother should I even bother? Maybe I shouldn't. Let's just go kill the thing and we'll see what happens, I guess. And then if the thing just ends right away or there's like a billion new troops around, then I'll just load, I guess, and redo it again. But for now, let's just try it. I'm gonna use the, uh, the laser because it starts out kind of far away from me. So I'll spam this. I don't know where my cursor is. Okay, I got it. Wow. Well, you are very soon dead. Yep. Intense boss battle. Great. Wow, that was so easy. And what did I get? How many did I get? I have five. Great. Should I? I have five. Let's just go for this. Why not? Ballistic rate of fire. So I'm going to increase my fire rate, even though I really don't need it. But what else would I really get? I mean, more defense stuff. I'm going to get this. I just feel like it. Also, I have never noticed before. Hold on, let's check that actually. Offense. Yeah, this is actually just bugged. Huh? That's very strange. Cause yeah, it says this is what I thought. So I haven't. I have never even looked at this. But it says allows the shotgun to fire twice but only consume one round of ammo in the process and that's why it was like so amazing you could shoot twice you could essentially double your ammo pool and double your dps with that upgrade look at my ammo counter if you can even see it it's like so fucking hard to see but yeah 37 let's shoot 35 33 it doesn't work it's simply bugged that's so weird why they how could they make a power-up that's supposed to do two things and fail one of them it I don't know it doesn't make any sense god damn this game expect again sub release already activated so that's cool I suppose and now I don't actually have an objective so now I guess we can just run around and do various things but I'm not gonna save I'm gonna wait for that and just check things out but yeah, so I guess if you're getting the the uh, the shotgun, it might be better to not get the double tap. And oh yeah, like I was saying, you should not get double tap and not get the cone. Just get the pellets so you get more damage, and then get this and get the rate of fire. 
because then you'll be using less ammo, you'll be having more powerful shots, even though they will be narrower, n narrower which I guess I kind of come to appreciate the uh, widespread, because it's easy to take out bots and stuff. So, the widespread is kind of nice, but it's just so weird that it doesn't actually do anything, the, the final power-up. It's... I mean, it does make you shoot twice, but I wonder, would you even shoot faster if you didn't have it? If you just shot and then shot again, is that faster than bam, bam? I don't know. Who knows? Why is there a nano battery falling from the sky? Did I get a nano battery, or was that, like, fake? I got one. What the hell? What was that about? Well, alright. Let's head up here, I guess. Oh. You have acquired the Vortex Grenade modification. When this modification is active, each grenade emits a powerful attracting field prior to exploding, drawing nearby enemies closer to the blast. Great! I'm never gonna use it, but great! So, I guess I'll disable this, because I don't really need the stun. Yeah, bomblets, I want that, and that. So I guess this is fine. What is this? Adheres to surfaces? That doesn't sound all that... I mean, yeah, I guess that so sounds kinda nice, because then you can actually just set up traps with them. Ooh, another... Na what is going on with the nano batteries? Why are there just nano batteries appearing out of thin air? I don't even understand. Where you could just like, oh, that was weird. Just, oh, say there's a thing coming up here, then you just go back here, set up like three grenades, and then you lure it there, and it walks into them and explodes, and you're happy because you didn't take damage, I suppose. Another modification, that proximity mine, no it's not. It was some other one. I didn't recognize it. And more nano batteries, and more terminals, okay. Blue characters trail down the terminal's flat display. Hello, user. It's nice to see you again, as always. Please make your selection. Aw, this computer is so nice. Encryption protocols are, as last directed, being rotated at daily intervals. Thanks to our use of several different forms of cryptography, it would be virtually impossible for any third party to decode our ciphertext. Transmissions are being sent through our radio teletype network. God, the teletype is back. Now it's now it means business. Now it's just not not just paper. It's actual teletype to operatives working in Castle Base Gamma Yoon. Oh, of course, they're talking about teletype because they're talking about the castle, the castle of teletype, where they are censored, transposed, and uploaded into the Information Ministry database. Why would you censor it if you're uploading it into your state database? Wouldn't that be the opposite of what you do? I mean, you censor it when you give it out to the public, don't you? You don't want censored files in your files, right? I don't know. From there, we run the transposed text through several more cryptogra cryptographic procedures before finally registering the entry in our secure, inaccessible mainframe located off-site. Why is this thing telling me this? All originals are then destroyed. It is in this way, and what is up with the star squiggly thing? It is in this way that we not only ensure the invulnerability of your most vital documents, but also establish a secure, queryable database of all knowledge relevant to our purposes, past, present, and future. Fantastic. Great. Okay. So, that's... that's weird. Hello. Oh. Well, that was... This is weird. Wow, that was weird. Okay. Well, hopefully nothing broke and I didn't die. Let's go in here, I suppose. That's just a random... okay. Just a random screen. Core jun junction. Oh. An unidentified creature is moving to attack the observation deck. All crew take defensive pus... 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 Evacuate observation deck. The one that got away. Oh, is that... Whisper Nathan? The unknown aquatic assailant. What? Is heading for the observation deck. What? Wait, is it? What? What? Did I... I mean, I heard about some giant creature, not some random... out... Dude. I'm not sure what that's about. So now, let's go... Oh yeah, if I go in here... Logicore, the last valves... Wait, the last... Yeah, the last valves, not glass well. Bla fucking blast valves, I can't speak. 
So it's telling me to go in here, but that's where I just came from, and it, there was nothing here. Okay, so it's just telling me to do the same thing again. No, wait for me, platform! And in here. But let's not do that, let's go to grab elevator. What? Okay, I just wanted to check this first. Got so much lightning. Oh, that was a rocket launcher, I think? I didn't even see the pop-up again, but oh well. Also, that overlapping lightning sound is quite annoying to listen to. And we're back here! Alright, I see. So, it's quite pointless. There really isn't anything here. So, let's go in here. Yep, yeah, what? Why is it telling me to go down here when it's clearly faster to go this way? I don't know. Sometimes this navigation thing doesn't really make sense. Well, why did it... Oh, because I have the rocket launcher now. Yeah, forgot about that. I'm gonna switch to the shotgun again. Uh, wait, how long have I been recording? Yeah, not, not long enough. I can keep going. Three nano batteries. Sometimes I just forget to look at the time and I lose myself and then it's like, Oh my god, it's 30 minutes in! Just making sure that doesn't happen. Um... Yeah, I don't really need more nano. This I've said I want to get, but probably not. Holy shit, that's a lot of nano batteries. Five and five, and five and... Holy god! So you need 23 nano batteries to upgrade this thing. I kind of want to try it, but I feel like it's kind of useless if you don't have all of these. So, yeah, it needs a turret. It needs eight to even get a weapon. Man, that's, that's a lot of stuff. Huh. Wait. Oh, I see. You get a... You, place it on a dude, it takes over a dude, and then it makes them tankier, and then dies, or explodes when they die, and the time... Okay, yeah, I see. Alright, but this sounds more interesting, but for now, maybe I should start saving up for that, because what else am I gonna get? I don't care about the rocket launcher, it's not good, in my opinion. Uh, I am wondering how good this is, though, because I always said the machine gun is useless, it doesn't do anything, but maybe if you... Like, I don't know what armor rating is, how armor even works in this game, what has armor, what hasn't, so... Maybe this would be kind of good, but... I don't know... Recoil and gun ammo consumption is not really what you're concerned about when using the machine gun. You would want more fire rate and more damage per shot or something like that. That would be amazing. In that case, I would definitely upgrade it, but now I don't really see the point. And as I've said, the lightning fork seems shitty as hell. I haven't tried if there's like two enemies, if it can bounce infinitely between the two. I doubt it. It just seems kind of shit. But what else? Projectile reflect? I don't really want. Oh, I guess. Yeah, I'm gonna get this. I'm gonna get this, and then I'm basically done with the shield. So, wow, this is also expensive as hell. There is an achievement for maxing out one tree, which I guess I'll try to do at some point. I don't know how many more nano batteries I'll be able to get, though. Maybe I'll have to do that in a new playthrough if I don't get enough by the end of it, because apparently there's no way to farm them up or anything like that. So, we'll see. Because, yeah, if I, if I start building this... Maybe I should just go for the, the projectile reflect thing, or reflect, whatever, because I'm not gonna max out this tree, that's gonna take ages. I guess it doesn't really, because these aren't very expensive, but they're still ex expensive enough, and I don't want to max out this, because it also would take quite a lot of batteries. Again, these are not very expensive, so this actually wouldn't take, take that much. How much is this? Let me just count four. And then 6, so 6 in each, and then 12, 18. So 18, right? 18 all in all. So, I guess if I hadn't bought this final strength upgrade, it would be 18 here as well. So, that would have been a thing. 
Let's just check how many it... Oh, right, yeah, this one is, like, expensive as shit, so... This is definitely the most. This is 50 or something. But... Yeah, I'm probably gonna go for projectile reflex or reflect. I don't even go. Go, go. I don't even go. I don't even go. Go, go, go. Yeah. Great. As I said, it's very late. You'll have to excuse me. But yeah, we're just gonna go for the defense. Not that I need it, but just in order to get that achievement, because I'd rather not have to replay this game to get another tree completely filled up. can't fucking see it. Whatever, I'll just heal up. Laser ammo. Uh, I guess... Yeah, sure, I'll just take it. 72, that wasn't a lot. Machine gun ammo. Oh, already full nano again. Okay. More of these, I suppose. Uh, and one of these. Why not? There we go. Have I not been here? I guess I haven't. Okay, can't go up. And, okay, Senior Research Labs. Ow! Stop that. Stop that. Everyone, just stop. Just gonna kill everyone first. Alright, we're good. No, we're not. There's another guy. Oh, it's a turret. Okay, uh, hold on. Let's get up here. Oh, I picked up some laser ammo. I didn't even see that. Did I get it? I think I did. Let's use the laser for a little while, I suppose. Health pack. Okay, sure, I'll use it. Inspect desk. That's where I came from. Alright, uh... Yeah, I'll do this. I, I want to find a save point, but I guess I'm recording another one anyways. But, yeah, we'll... We'll read this and then probably find a save point, hopefully. The desk is mostly filled with a random assortment of pens, paper clips, sticky notes, and other sundry, sundry office supplies, save for the bottommost drawer, which houses several thick procedural manuals and a paperback notebook. Who would have guessed that life aboard the most technologically advanced submarine in the world could be so dreadfully dull? Ever since Marina was founded, all the really exciting research has been taken away from us and given to those arctic clots. This should... That should be me up there, announcing unprecedented breakthrough after unprecedented breakthrough? My last transfer request was denied, just like the other four before it, so I guess I'd better start getting used to spending the rest of my career on this confounded boat. Poor guy. Poor, poor guy. I am so sorry for you. And there's not anything else? Wait, so... Yeah, once again, if you don't have the upgrades, you you are just trapped here. You have to go through, so... Again? A little bit weird. How... How the game works with all the movement upgrades, where it's sometimes, oh, they're essential, and sometimes, oh, they're optional. I don't know. I... I'd probably just dash through these guys, because, yeah. Oh! What? Do I still have electricity from before? Yeah, I guess that's it. I thought I absorbed electricity from those guys. That would have been amazing if that was the case. And I'm just gonna go here, because it tells me to not go there, and I wanna do... I wanna rebel against the game, and preferably find a save point, but maybe there's a save point. There's probably a save point where I just went, so, wait, let's check. Yeah, no save point here. Alright, let's just go back and see if there's a save point in this door. Come on. Please, save point. Come on. No. No save point. I gotta sneeze. I had to sneeze. Uh, okay. Research library. Is there a save point here? There is not. What if I go in here? There is not. Where the fuck is the save point? I'm just gonna drop down here. Oh, nope. Just go in here. I guess I'll kill these. Yeah, there we go. I think I can pick that up. Yep, I can. Electrical portal. I just want to find a fucking save point. That's all I want. That's all I've ever wanted. Just a save point. That's all I want. Please? Just a save point. I don't want to do anything else. I just want a save point. Please? No? 
there is not going to be a save point, is there? Shield pack full. Oh man, just give me a save point already, please. I should have blocked earlier, whatever. Oh, health pack full, sure. I always confuse the- Seriously, there's no- no fucking save point! When was the last save point? We gone through all this way, all this way, and then where did we come from? Yeah, this way, all the way up here is a save point. Well, I guess I'm going back then. Fuck this game. And am I going the right way? Yeah, I think so. Nothing here. God damn, I just wanted to fucking progress until I got a save point. That shouldn't have been so hard. Also, you can jump faster than the elevator, so that's a thing. Yeah, fuck you. Wow, you can wall jump off of enemies. That's actually kind of cool. And I guess I'll go up here and through here. And this thing is, of course, back. They always respawn. Always. And then I'll have to go up here. And up here. And... Wasn't it here? Yeah, I, I think I even missed this. But here we go, finally. Alright, save point. I'm gonna end it there. I'm gonna try to do another one, even though it's fucking late. So I will see you next time. I will persevere. I will not let this game bring me down. I can do it. And so can you. I guess. See you next time. Bye.